Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'm going to follow on from a previous video where I was talking about how to grow carrots in, in a pot on a windowsill. In this video it's about the harvesting of the carrots and what to look for when you're harvesting them and also how to allow them to keep growing so you can get a larger crop as the season continues. So this has probably been about two months since I've sown the carrots and you can see here I've got lots of leaf growth, lots of healthy leaves. They flopped over a bit at the moment it's quite common for carrots to just have a kind of a messy growth of leaves on top. And this is what you'd expect from a carrot after a couple of months. Lots of leaves, uh, there's not much to see at the ground level. The carrots are underground, so you don't you're not really expect to see carrots sticking up above the ground at all. But I'll, so I'll zoom in now closely to the tops of the carrots so you can see what they look like. And that will give you an idea of what to look out for when it comes to harvesting your carrots. So looking into the middle here, you can see there's quite a few carrot stems coming down there. Now, when with your carrots, yours probably look slightly different. The reason mine look quite weird at the moment is because I started uh, doing a time lapse with these plants when I first sowed them. And I'll add that time lapse in at the end so you can watch them grow from seed and, and as they germinate. But basically what's happened is I didn't have enough light during my time lapse, so they got slightly leggy. And that's why I've got this weird kind of green growth above the carrots. Now, if you might have that as well if they hasn't had enough light when they were quite young. But otherwise, what you should have is you should have the leaves are actually right down in the base of the soil, and that's where that they should start fattening up. They shouldn't have this long green section, but if they have that, don't worry, it's just because they didn't have enough light when they were younger. And now, when it comes to harvesting, what you want to do is look for the biggest carrots. You can start harvesting when they're about the size of your, your small pinky finger. You just want to have a look, and you should be able to see the very top of the, the carrot, like this one down here. And you, you're just looking out for the largest ones. If you can't see the top of the carrot, just disturb the soil slightly, move it aside so you should be able to see the top of the carrot. And look out for the largest ones, or you, what you want to look out for is the most congested ones. So this area, for example, there's lots of, lots of carrots here. You can see it's quite a congested mess. So the idea of thinning them is to take out the largest carrots, that leaves more space in the pots for the other smaller carrots to grow, and then you'll constantly get larger and larger carrots as the season progresses, and then right at the end of the season you'll have some large normal sized carrots. But you can also start harvesting now, and taking out your first crop. So what I'm going to do here is look for the largest one I can find, there's quite a nice one back here. Now when you want to harvest them, you want to make sure you push any other, other ones to the side, you want to grab onto the, the thickest part of the carrot, and you just want to gently pull up and you should be able to pull them out just like that. You want to be careful when you pull it out not to damage the foliage from the surrounding plants. So I'm just going to try and carefully tease this out without damaging the other leaves. One of the trickier things is when you grow them close together like this is the leaves can get quite tangled. So as you can see there, it's a small carrot. And actually the, the thickness at the top of the carrot doesn't always denote how long the carrot will be. So it could have quite stumpy ones like this. Mine are generally gonna be quite short because I've gone for the smaller early uh, maturing variety because they're the ones that grow best in pots. And if you're growing them in pots, I would encourage you to grow globe carrots or the smaller variety. That way you, you won't need to have such large deep pots. So I'll just take a few of them out now. I'll just start thinning them out. And as you can see, there's quite a few coming out there. Nice little small carrots, they'll be nice and tender. So that's the first har harvest of carrots done. Now every time you do this harvest you should get bigger and bigger carrots as you allow the other ones more space to grow. For the first crop especially, you don't expect anything much bigger than this, they're going to be really quite small carrots. And the plant afterwards will look quite, um, quite frazzled, basically you've disturbed all the leaves, disturbed the roots, the carrots aren't going to be too happy with that. And the, the foliage might flop down a bit, might even wilt slightly. But to make sure it's well watered, keep it in a sunny position still because it still needs plenty of light to keep growing, but keep it away from the hottest sun just for a couple of days until it gets used to the to disturbed soil and starts regrowing any roots that might have been disturbed when you harvested the other carrots. That will then You'll then have a lot more space for these carrots to continue growing, and then every harvest you do, you'll just take out bigger and bigger carrots every time until you're left with just two or three carrots, and they should be able to grow into four-sized carrots, but they will probably take the whole summer to get to a decent size. Uh, most carrots, if you want to get a large carrot, needs about four months or so of growth. But as I say, this is where you can start with a nice early crop of carrots, and then in time, you just keep harvesting them, you keep giving them more space, and that's basically how you harvest the carrots as they continue to grow. When it comes to feeding, you can start giving them a tomato feed now. Um, the first few months, there should be enough feed in the compost to just keep them going. 
but then once you start harvesting them I would give them a tomato feed so after a month or two of growth start giving them a tomato feed just follow the instructions on the on the packet and um, I would feed them once or twice a week that way you encourage all the, the growth to go into the roots if you give them a feed that's high in nitrogen you're just going to get lots of leaves and less growth we focus on the roots but if you switch now to a tomato feed it's low in nitrogen, high in potassium and phosphorus, which encourages root growth and development. If you feed them that, then that will really put all their growth into the roots and it'll fatten up quite nicely and you should get much better crop of carrots for that. So that's all for this video and I'll continue making more windowsill uh, vegetable plant videos as time goes on.